Today we're going to talk about a new line of papers, and it is for the comic book industry. So Canson has developed a new paper. We call it Fanboy. It is really our manga and comic line. It is new paper, different from the traditional papers that artists were used to using. Traditionally, artists have used Bristol, Bristol and Bristol type papers. But today, we have this new paper, which is very heavily sized. It's smooth in texture, and it has a very bright white finish. It also, the bright white finish allows for maximum contrast between the ink line and the light and the dark. It also allows for brighter colors because the color sits on top of the surface. It also gives us sharper ink lines, which is very important because we don't want bleeding or feathering. In reproduction, that's not a good thing. Also, because the marker sits on top of the surface, it allows for blending, which is unique. Because up till now, most papers, the, the ink was absorbed into the surface, and once you put it there, it stayed right where you put it. Because of that hard sizing, we have excellent erasability. And although this is an opaque sheet of paper and looks very white, if we use a light box, we can actually make this paper transparent enough that we could use it for tracing. With all that said, let's look at this, at this sheet of uh, paper, of fanboy paper, and we could see the, from the ink to the marker to the graphite. Also, one of the things that artists do is they start out their renderings with a non-photo blue pencil, as we see here in this illustration. From there, the artist then will start its, their marker rendering, or they'll begin inking. In the fanboy line, there's a wide range of different products. From the comic strip, and notice that these are all printed in a light blue ink. We call this non-photo blue. That's when it goes to the printer. This will not be reproduced, only what has been drawn. So we have the comic strip. We have a layout page, which gives us four blocks with notes here, so we can start, the artist can start their, their concept. From that, they actually move to what we call a concept page where they explore further uh, the art and, of course, make additional notes. There are two formats of popular comic books today. One is the manga. The manga book is much smaller than our traditional comic book that we're used to. But the manga sheet offers one full page, so there would be two pages drawn on this. Again, notice the blue line. And then this is the traditional comic book uh, size that would be used. We also offer trading cards, which are very popular with the young people today. Uh, the artist can draw on this and then slip this card into a sleeve and it becomes a collectible item. For the buddy new artist, we have our make your own comic book, make your own manga, and also make your own novel. A miniature novel. These offer a 28 page book that's stapled, blank pages. It also offers some brief instructions to get the artist started. And it also offers some uh, stencils, balloon stencils, and cell stencils to get them started. With this said, we have a wide variety to fit this new market. These are very popular in the education system. Teachers find that most children today would like to express themselves in comics. So it has become a very, very popular art form. To explore these papers and others further, I invite you to visit the website. Thank you.